Yeah, math, let's do this. Journey with me as we face, overcome, and befriend the challenges ahead. We can because we are Mathematis in Yan. I am Teacher Andrew, your soulmate. Allow me to guide you in learning different concepts and skills in Mathematics 9. In today's episode, we will be exposed to various word problems that involve rational algebraic equations, which can be transformed into quadratic equations. A number less its reciprocal is 8 over 3. What is the number? Step 1. Represent the given quantities and set up an equation. The number referred to in the problem can be represented as x and its reciprocal as 1 over x. So, the verbal sentence, a number less its reciprocal is 8 over 3, can be translated as the equation x minus 1 over x equals 8 over 3. Here, x should not be equal to 0, otherwise, 1 over x is undefined. Step 2. Transform the equation into a quadratic equation in standard form. The LCM of the denominators x and 3 is their product. Hence, the LCD of 1 over x and 8 over 3 is 3x. We now multiply both sides of the equation by 3x. x times 3x is 3x squared. And by cross cancellation, negative 1 over x times 3x is negative 3. And 8 over 3 times 3x is 8x. Hence, the resulting equation is 3x squared minus 3 equals 8x. And its standard form is 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 equals 0. Step 3. Solve the derived quadratic equation written in standard form. The equation 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 equals 0 can also be solved by factoring. 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 must be equal to the product of the binomials 3x plus 1 and x minus 3. Hence, we have the equation 3x plus 1 times the binomial x minus 3 equals 0. Equating each factor to 0 and then solving for x, we should obtain the following values, negative 1 third and 3. Since it is not indicated in the problem what type of number is being referred to, there are two answers, negative 1 third and 3. Problem solved! For the second set of problems, I gave the name alone and together. This is a duo. Let us get to know each one. Problem number one. It takes Mary three hours more to do a job than it takes Jane. If they work together, they can finish the same job in two hours. How long would it take Mary to finish the job alone? For problems involving rate of work, we have to use this formula. Portion of work done equals rate of work times time. Rate of work refers to the amount of work done per unit of time. So, we let x be the number of hours it takes Jane to finish the job alone. This means that Jane's rate is 1 over x. She can accomplish 1 over x of the job per hour. Then, it follows that Mary needs x plus 3 hours to finish the job alone. Hence, her rate of work is 1 over x plus 3. Mary can accomplish 1 over x plus 3 of the job per hour. And since it was mentioned that if they work together, they can finish the job in 2 hours, we indicate in the table that each of Jane and Mary works for 2 hours. To determine the portion of work done by Jane, we multiply the rate by the time. 1 over x times 2 is equal to 2 over x. To determine the portion of work done by Mary, we multiply the rate by the time. 1 over x plus 3 times 2 is equal to 2 over x plus 3. They work together 
and finish the job. Hence, if we add the portion of work done by Mary to the work done by Jane, it will be equal to one completed work. So we have the equation 2 over x plus 2 over x plus 3 equals 1, where x can't be 0 because 2 over x will be undefined. Nor can it be negative 3 because 2 over x plus 3 will be undefined. Now, we must transform the equation into a quadratic equation. The first step is to identify the LCD of the expressions in the equation. Observe that x and x plus 3 are both prime. Hence, the LCD will be their product. We now multiply both sides of the rational algebraic equation by this LCD. By cross-cancellation, 2 over x times the LCD x multiplied by the binomial x plus 3 is equal to 2 times the binomial x plus 3. And 2 over x plus 3 times the LCD x multiplied by the binomial x plus 3 is equal to 2x. While 1 times the LCD x times the binomial x plus 3 is simply equal to the LCD itself x times the binomial x plus 3. Thus, the resulting equation is 2 times the binomial x plus 3 plus 2x equals x times the binomial x plus 3. This means that 2x plus 6 plus 2x is equal to x squared plus 3x. The standard form of this equation is written as x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. And this can also be solved by factoring. x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to the product of the binomials x minus 3 and x plus 2. Hence, we have the equation binomial x minus 3 times binomial x plus 2 equals 0. And equating each factor to 0, we can conclude that x is equal to 3 and also equal to negative 2. However, x represents the number of hours it takes Jane to finish the job alone. It can't be negative, so x must be equal to 3. Jane can finish the job alone in 3 hours, and thus, Mary can do it alone in 6 hours. Problem solved! Problem number 2. Two painters working together can paint the front of a house in 16 hours. Working alone, one of the painters can finish the job in 24 hours less time than it takes the other painter to do the job alone. How much time does it take the faster painter to do the job alone? We let x be the number of hours it takes the slower painter to finish the job alone. This means that the painter's rate is 1 over x. He or she can accomplish 1 over x of the job per hour. It follows that it takes x minus 24 hours for the faster painter to finish the job alone. This means that this painter's rate is 1 over x minus 24. He or she can accomplish 1 over x minus 24 of the job per hour. As mentioned in the problem, they can finish the job in 16 hours if they work together. We shall indicate in the table that they both work for 16 hours. We multiply 1 over x by 16 to determine the portion of work done by the slower painter. 1 over x times 16 is equal to 16 over x. We multiply 1 over x minus 24 by 16 to determine the portion of work done by the faster painter. And 1 over x minus 24 times 16 is equal to 16 over x minus 24. And since they can finish one whole job by working together, we shall add up the portion of work done by each painter. So, we write the equation 16 over x plus 16 over x minus 24 equals 1, where x should not be equal to 0 and to 24 because 16 over x and 16 over x minus 24 will be undefined respectively. Then, 
we determine the LCD. Observe that x and x minus 24 are both prime. Hence, the LCD will be their product. Next, we multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. By cross cancellation, 16 over x times the LCD x multiplied by the binomial x minus 24 must be equal to 16 times the binomial x minus 24. And 16 over x minus 24 times the LCD x multiplied by the binomial x minus 24 equals 16x. While 1 times the LCD x multiplied by the binomial x minus 24 is simply equal to the LCD itself. The resulting equation is 16 times the binomial x minus 24 plus 16x equals x times the binomial x minus 24. This means that 16x minus 384 plus 16x is equal to x squared minus 24x. In standard form, this is written as x squared minus 56x plus 384 equals 0. And this can also be solved by factoring. Expressing the trinomial on the left side in factored form, the equation must be written now as binomial x minus 8 times binomial x minus 48 equals 0. Equating each factor to 0, we would arrive at these values of x, 8 and 48. Recall that the faster painter takes x minus 24 hours to finish the job alone. So x can't be 8 since 8 minus 24 is equal to negative 16. Thus, x must be 48. It takes the slower painter 48 hours to finish the job alone. And hence, it only requires the faster painter 24 hours to finish the job alone. Problem solved! We move on to our next set of word problems, which I will label as current de Villa. Problem number one. A motorboat heads upstream a distance of 48 kilometers on a river whose current is running at 3 kilometers per hour. Then, the motorboat returns. The trip upstream and back takes 12 hours. Assuming that the motorboat maintains a constant speed relative to the water, what is its speed? First, we take note of the path or direction of the object, which in this case is the motorboat. There are two paths or directions taken by the motorboat, upstream, as mentioned in the first sentence of the problem, and downstream, as implied by the second sentence then the motorboat returns. Second, we express the speed of object when traveling upstream and downstream in terms of the speed of the current and the speed of the object relative to the water or in still water. The speed here is expressed in the unit kph or kilometer per hour. The speed of the current is 3 kilometers per hour. The speed of the motorboat and still water is unknown. Let's represent it using the variable x. And this is actually what we have to solve for, as implied by the sentence, assuming that the motorboat maintains a constant speed relative to the water, what is its speed? If the object moves upstream, it means it goes against the current. And hence, its speed when traveling upstream is equal to its speed in still water reduced by the speed of the current. So, we may represent the speed of the motorboat when it travels upstream as x minus 3. Now, if the object moves downstream, it means it goes with the current. And hence, its speed when traveling downstream is equal to its speed in still water increased by the speed of the current. So, we may represent the speed of the motorboat in this direction as x plus 3. Third, we record in the table the distance covered by the motorboat in each direction. 
it goes upstream as far as it goes downstream. Both trips are 48 kilometers long. Lastly, we take note of the time. The problem did not state how long it takes the boat to travel in each direction. We must express the time in terms of the distance and speed. Recall that distance equals speed times time. And when time is unknown, it must be equal to distance over speed. Hence, the time in hours it takes the boat to travel 48 kilometers upstream is equal to 48 over x minus 3. While it takes the boat 48 over x plus 3 hours to travel 48 kilometers downstream. As stated in the problem, the trip upstream and back takes 12 hours. We must write then this equation. 48 over x minus 3 plus 48 over x plus 3 equals 12. Where the excluded values of x are 3 and negative 3. We now identify the LCD, the first step in transforming a rational algebraic equation into a quadratic equation. The LCD of the expressions is the product of the denominators since they are both prime. Then, we multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. By cross-cancellation, 48 over x minus 3 times the LCD binomial x plus 3 times binomial x minus 3 is equal to 48 times the binomial x plus 3 and 48 times the binomial x plus 3 times the LCD x plus 3 times binomial x minus 3 is equal to 48 times the binomial x minus 3. While 12 times the LCD can just be expressed as 12 multiplied by the binomials x plus 3 and x minus 3. The resulting equation is 48 times the binomial x plus 3 plus 48 times the binomial x minus 3 equals 12 times the binomial x minus 3 times the binomial x plus 3. This means that 48x plus 144 plus 48x minus 144 is equal to 12x squared minus 108. Writing the equation in standard form, it must be expressed as 12x squared minus 96x minus 108 equals 0. We can reduce the values of the coefficients a, b, and c in the equation since 12, negative 96, and negative 108 are all divisible by 12. So if we divide both sides of the equation by 12, we should get the equation x squared minus 8x minus 9 equals 0. And this can also be solved by factoring. x squared minus 8x minus 9 is equal to the product of the binomials x minus 9 and x plus 1. Hence, we have the equation binomial x minus 9 times binomial x plus 1 equals 0. Equating each factor to 0, we should get that the values of x are 9 and negative 1. Recall that we let x be the speed of the motorboat and still water that is expressed in kph or kilometers per hour. x must not be negative. Therefore, x is equal to 9. The speed of the motorboat is in still water is 9 kph. Problem solved. Problem number 2. Maintaining the constant speed, 12 miles per hour, relative to the water, a motorboat makes a round trip on a river of 45 miles upstream and 45 miles downstream. The entire trip takes 8 hours. What is the speed of the current? Just like what we did in problem number 1, we will first identify the two directions or paths taken by the object. And these are, of course, upstream and downstream. Then, we record in the table the speed of the object as it travels in each direction. We must express it in terms of the speed of the current and the speed of this object in still water. The speed here is expressed in mph or miles per hour. This time, the speed of the current is the one unknown, and we let it be x. 
the speed of the motorboat in still water is given. As stated in the problem, it is 12 miles per hour. Hence, the speed of the motorboat when traveling upstream can be written as 12 minus x, while its speed when traveling downstream can be written as 12 plus x. Next, we record the distance it covers in each direction. In the problem, the motorboat makes a round trip. This means it goes upstream as far as it goes downstream. This distance is 45 miles. Since we are only given the total time the entire trip takes, we must express in terms of the recorded speed and distance the time it takes the motorboat to travel in each direction. We should be guided by this formula in computing for the time given speed and distance. 45 over 12 minus x represents the amount of time in hours it takes the motorboat to travel upstream, while 45 over 12 plus x represents the amount of time in hours it takes the motorboat to travel downstream. Now, we set up an equation. Since the round trip takes 8 hours, it means 45 over 12 minus x plus 45 over 12 plus x equals 8, where the excluded values of x are 12 and negative 12. We now determine the LCD. Both the denominators are prime, so the LCD is their product. We multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. By cross cancellation, 45 over 12 minus x times the LCD expressed as the product of the binomials 12 minus x and 12 plus x is equal to 45 times the binomial 12 plus x. And 45 over 12 plus x times the LCD expressed as the product of 12 minus x and 12 plus x is equal to 45 times the binomial 12 minus x. While 8 times the LCD can just be expressed as 8 multiplied by the binomials 12 minus x and 12 plus x. This results to the equation 45 times the binomial 12 plus x plus 45 times the binomial 12 minus x equals 8 times binomial 12 minus x times binomial 12 plus x. This means that 540 plus 45x plus 540 minus 45x is equal to 1,152 minus 8x squared. In standard form, this is written as 8x squared minus 72 equals 0. And this equation can be solved by extracting square root. We isolate the term with the variable by increasing both sides by 72. Hence, we have the equation 8x squared equals 72. We then divide both sides by 8, the coefficient and the quadratic term. The result is the equation x squared equals 9. Upon extracting square root, x must be equal to positive or negative square root of 9, and we must get that x is equal to positive or negative 3. Recall that we let x be the speed of the current in miles per hour. Thus, x can't be negative, so x must be 3. The speed of the current is 3 miles per hour. Problem solved! Kagamath, ready your pen and paper. Let's do this. It's math the moment. Let's answer the following questions. Number 1. If we let x be the speed of the boat in still water, what expression can be written for the motorboat's speed as it travels in each direction? Number two, what is the distance covered by the motorboat in each direction? Number three, what expression represents the amount of time in hours it takes the motorboat to travel in each direction? And number four, what is the speed of the boat in still water? You have three minutes. Go!
time is up. The speed of the current is 5 kilometers per hour. However, the speed of the boat in still water is unknown, so we let this be x, which is also in kph. This means that the speed of the boat when traveling upstream could be written as x minus 5. When it travels downstream, its speed is written as x plus 5. We record that the upstream part is 8 kilometers long, while the downstream part is 12 kilometers. Now, we express the amount of time in hours it takes the motorboat to travel in each direction. We divide the indicated distance by the speed. So, the motorboat takes 8 over x minus 5 hours when heading upstream, while it takes the motorboat 12 over x plus 5 hours when traveling downstream. We now set up the equation. Since the entire trip takes 5 hours, this means that 8 over x minus 5 plus 12 over x plus 5 is equal to 5, where x cannot be positive or negative 5. The LCD is the product of the denominators since they are both prime. We multiply both sides of the equation by this LCD. The resulting equation is 8 times the binomial x plus 5 plus 12 times the binomial x minus 5 equals 5 multiplied by x minus 5 and x plus 5. This means that 8x plus 40 plus 12x minus 60 equals 5x squared minus 125. Written in standard form, it should look like this. 5x squared minus 20x minus 105 equals 0. Dividing both sides of the equation by 5, we can reduce the coefficient so that the equation is now expressed as x squared minus 4x minus 21 equals 0. Expressing the trinomial in factored form, the equation can be written as binomial x plus 3 times binomial x minus 7 equals 0. And equating each factor to 0, we should get that x is equal to negative 3 and to 7. Recall that x represents the speed of the boat in still water. x must not be negative, hence x equals 7. The speed of the boat in still water is 7 kilometers per hour. Problem solved! That has been another Learning Pact episode. Let me end on this note. Practice makes perfect. And the more you practice, the greater the chance that you will become a master. Doesn't this sound great? See you in the next Mathathon, Kagamath! Bye!